All right, folks, welcome back. So if you liked this and you want to know more about the 1.9 update and you want to see all of the tools in the 1.9 update used in a totally free course, go ahead and check out the link below for a free course on Affinity Photo 1.9, where we show you how to apply all of the updates. All right, on behalf of the Seven Seasons Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey with us, and we'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to Affinity Photo 1.9. Now, this is a huge upgrade I would consider for Affinity Photo. One of the things that Affinity Photo users do is we create backgrounds, let's say, for ads and such. So a lot of photo work might be about creating that right, perfect background. And sometimes getting a seamless pattern is difficult. Affinity Photo made it pretty easy this time. So let's go ahead and I want to show you practical application to this. Let's say that I've isolated this rose here and I want to put some really cool kind of background to it. Now, to get a pattern background, you go to layer and you're going to create a new pattern layer. Now, when you create the new pattern layer, the size is going to dictate how many times it repeats. So if this image, let's say, is a thousand pixels wide by a thousand pixels tall and I have 32 pixels on my pattern, it's going to repeat about 300 times. It's a little bit crazy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a bigger, more spread out pattern. So I'm going to go to maybe 750 and I want it to be relatively square. So I'm going to go 750 by 750. Now, what's about to happen here? I'm going to start with a basic brush, okay? So there's my pattern layer. And now in my pattern layer, there's going to be a little square. You see the square that I've been moving around and wherever you put your brush is where the pattern is going to be. So the square is 750 by 750. My brush on the other hand is 128 pixels. So if I move my brush up, I can move the square up. Okay, now if I want to move the square somewhere else into the center, I can do that too. All right. So, you get it kind of where you want it. And if you really wanted to, you could just stamp it. Boom. Instant pattern, right? Now, if I wanted to offset again, I could. Now, let's do something a little more interesting, right? Because this is table stakes. Let's go ahead and now... These are brushes that I bought over the time, so you'll have different brushes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make something lightning-y. All right, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find a lightning brush. And I'm going to look for something kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and find something interesting. Okay, that's not quite what I had in mind by interesting. Now that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. So let's try this. I'm coming down to my pattern layer and I'm going to throw on some lightning. Boom. Just like that. Now let me get this off there. So now if I bring this down and then I can do a lot of really crazy stuff. I can come over here to styles. I can change the style. That's pretty awesome. And if I wanted to, I could duplicate that style, get some really cool stuff in here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to layer. And let's put a live filter layer for a Gaussian blur on it. Clip it in. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and move this up to 150. Mm, we're probably better at 80. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So on this one here, let's go ahead and change the blend mode out. See, we can get it a little bit deeper. Yeah, that'll work. And let's go ahead and reduce the opacity on that layer just slightly. Okay, so bottom line is pattern layers 
are a really cool feature that allow you to create a patterned background very quickly. Now, just showing you one more thing here with them. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna change out my brush back to the small dot. Let's do a small pattern, shall we? All right, so I got a basic 64 pixel brush. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna create a new pattern layer. And now let's make it that 32 by 32. Now you see how small that box is? I'm gonna zoom on in here. And what I'm gonna do with my brush, believe it or not here, I'm gonna come into that layer. I'm gonna grab my brush. And now why did the whole thing go white? You see how big my brush circle is as opposed to the square? If I want it to change, I have to bring my brush down and I position it and I tap once. That's it. Okay, one and done. Boom. So that's how you create a very, very teeny tiny pattern. So pattern layers are extremely effective. That's one of the features that I actually like in the 1.9. And it's a great way to get some really cool backgrounds on your images. All right, folks. See you in the next one.